Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a very common question. Why should you choose research over a corporate job? Specifically research, not any type of higher studies. Won't say that whatever I'm going to talk about, these are the only potential reasons. As per my understanding and as per my experience, I'm going to list a few. First one is what type of work do you like? When I was in corporate, I was always working towards corporate goals. Every work, even if it is of your interest, it is directed towards the corporate goal. I should be allowed to choose what I want to work, even if that is not aligned <laughs> with the corporate. It was never a fun for me just writing code. Problem solving, that is interesting. There is some pleasure in that. Mostly you are not even writing software code. You are just maintaining some already existing code. New things are developed very less. Most of the time it is the old things which are being maintained or improvised. That is not fun. That's frustrating. In research, you are going to choose your research field. You are going to choose your research topic. Unless you have chosen something with incorrect reasons. This is some fancy thing. That's why I want to work in this. Unless you had those weird reasons. Definitely you are going to enjoy your work because you have chosen that field you have chosen that topic another i feel is work-life balance very less corporates are there where you have a good work-life balance even there you have to be satisfied that is okay this is the best we can get in corporate others are even worse than this but if you yourself want to decide okay this is the type of work-life balance i want these are the number of hours I like to work and also this is the timing which suits me. Now I am allowed to work even in night, I can sleep in daytime. As long as I am doing my work, that's fine. Work-life balance is much, much better as compared to corporate. I mean, there you have to go morning 9 to 5 or even 1 a.m. in night. Pursuing something else along with corporate job is very difficult. If you want to have some other hobby, it is very difficult. Every day going to gym was a difficult thing. And then it's not just gym. You have to focus on your diet. You have to have proper rest. In research, things are very free. I don't find that boundedness which was there in corporate. There are too many rules, stupid principles of a corporate. In Amazon, they had some 14 principles and they were nothing but just to make the employees work more. There is no such thing in academics or research. Make your own rules. As long as you are honest to your work, you are putting effort, you do great. No forced policies or rules or boundedness. There you have a high dependency. If that job is gone, oh, okay, what will I do now? Switching from one company to other, that is also a thing I hated. In research, it's very free. It's like you enjoy doing that work. That's why you have chosen it. Things are very flexible. Only thing is that, okay, have you chosen the right field? and the right advisor. Next thing is, I feel, what are your preferences? What type of goals do you have? I mean, some people have those goals. They want to grow in corporate. They want to reach to higher positions. They want to enjoy that money and this and that. But if you have some different goals, then research is the thing. And what goals that you have to decide? For me, I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy listening to other person's viewpoints. I enjoy discussing and then coming on a conclusion that you get in research field. In corporate, it's just, okay, we want to do this. A discussion point I found very minimum there. They were mostly centered about uh, some specific goal the team is trying to achieve and a specific type of way in which they are trying to achieve. Open ideas are very less. People are going to say, no, no, we work in a very open manner and this and that, but I never found that. In terms of opportunities, people feel that in corporate, you have more money, more opportunities, scope of growth. I feel that is a very big illusion, actually. First of all, there is zero money. If you are paying me even one CR and I have to give my life for that day and night, just company's goals. My life is just, okay, go to office, come back home, have some stupid parties on weekends and feel that, oh, my life is going so good. I feel that I have given more to the company and got very less in return. One CR is not the value of my time. I have got one life on earth. I'm giving that life to a company, that time to a company. It's much, much more valuable than some one CR, two CR. Money is not an opportunity in corporate. As per me, 
for other people it may be other point is that money is always there you can join corporate any time if you are a good candidate they will always be ready to take you because it's very difficult to find good candidates if you have worked hard your value is already that much that is not going anywhere you can join corporate any time in life it's just that within those years what do you want to do do you want to just start earning or you want to grow yourself more and increase your value more in research your knowledge level is much beyond than typical software development knowledge you become more capable you have much better idea of the field software development i mean that's a btech level job you can crack it any time it's not a big deal also you stay in touch with the latest research things and corporate people hardly have any idea to what extent research has moved unless they are working with that research on top of that it opens multiple other opportunities for you if someone wants to join uh, an it company and they can join some research lab much better work life balance and uh, i feel much respected positions as compared to software development if someone is not interested in corporate they can join academics further they can go for post doctorate anywhere outside india if you prefer outside india or inside india you can start earning there you get enough money it is comparable to the corporate jobs after that you can join as a faculty either there or come back to india join as a faculty in some institute here if work life is the priority for you academic jobs are the best for that some people may argue that no teaching also has uh, its own stress reasons but uh, i feel that no it's not that much your life is in your control rather than a company and along with that you can have other hobbies if you are actually too much hungry for money then uh, after research join some coaching institute become a good teacher there earn much more than a corporate job i feel it's a privilege to be part of that intellectual group to have some nice discussions in corporate there were hardly any that level of intellectual discussions they were mostly some technology some some coding language some platform if you want something more for your brain then yeah research gives you a lot i feel everything is dependent on what do you like some people choose the incorrect research field which doesn't align with them they feel that oh no corporate is much better i have met such people because they were in an incorrect field or working under an incorrect advisor not incorrect advisor but the wavelength between advisor and that person is not matching unless those things are there you have chosen the things carefully research is the best thing in terms of work in terms of your work life balance in terms of overall growth in terms of opportunities whether it is money respect positions everything corporate gives you a very small subset of that i feel just for that short term money people leave a lot in their life and uh, just waste their precious life in working for a company how should you choose a research topic what are the things out there how should you choose research advisor those are the topics for next video